when I think about uh, trusted adults or mentors in my life, the first person who always comes to my mind is my mom. I know my mom is someone I always, I mean, you know, she's a, my mom. She's just amazing. So it's, a, I think, it's awesome to have a mom that you can say that about. I love that. Yeah, exactly. And I think she's definitely someone who has in so many ways shown that she cares about me and that she has my best interests at heart. And when I think about as I've gotten older and been reflecting on how we got to that point where I have such a good relationship with my mom, because I know not everyone is that lucky. I think for me, a lot of it came from she was able to show me that she cared because she was just there for me. We ended up spending a lot of time together when I was younger, when I was starting to get into middle school and high school. She was always the one driving me to my activities before I had my driver's license. and when I had, you know, issues that would come up or exciting things that would come up, she would always just be there. She never expected me to like share things beyond what I was comfortable. She didn't push me. And I think that's kind of what it was for me is that she was just showed me that she was there in so many different ways. And as I then reflect on that and how that affects my other relationships, the people that have shown me they cared are the ones who I ultimately end up spending a lot of time with because they've shown that they're available to me in whatever way I might need them. That's kind of been the defining way that I think about people I care and my trusted mentors in my life. I love the specifics you gave there. I think one of the things you said, I might be paraphrasing, is that she didn't push you to share, um, that she wasn't maybe, you know, crying with a lot of questions, but she was building an atmosphere where you were like, hey, I can be real with her in these ways because she's consistently showing up for me. She's making herself available to me. She's taking advantage of those car rides or whatever those moments are to not just see them as, um, you know, something else that's getting added into the calendar, the busy family life. How can this be a, a moment to really hone in on, um, to keep building that sense of connection so that you're, you know, you're a young professional now who sees your mom in this light as that trusted adult figure. And like you said, not everyone is always lucky to have that connection with a parent or guardian, but she she built the ground to where you were like, I'm doing my own thing as an adult, but I know I got I got my mom still if there's someone I want to lean back in. Is there is there ways that even now starting in a new job that you're like, hey, I know if I have an issue or a question or something I'm figuring out now, just as a fresh graduate that I can go to her for, like. What does she do at this stage in your life? You know, you're past the carpooling days. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's, I'm still in the same town. I'm in Winona with, with just where I grew up. So I think in every day that I've finished my job, I've always gone to my parents' house and sat and had dinner with them. And I've been able to like tell them everything that's going on in my day. And then um, this is a job that's kind of a bit more, I have to figure things out on my own. So I've had several instances already where I'm like, I'm not sure what to do. Mom, do you have any advice for me here? So she's, you know, she's shown that she's very wise in many ways. And even if it's an area of expertise that she's not, you know, directly had experience with, she's someone whose judgment I trust. And it's, I'm, I'm sure that'll continue to be the case for years and years. <laughs> 